All right, I've got a cell balancing algorithm written here, and we're looking at it with a thermal camera. And uh, you can see that uh, the cells are being discharged based on their state of charge. Uh, in the last 15 minutes or so, I've brought the delta on this particular uh, 48S configuration, I've brought it down from about 18 millivolts to about 12 millivolts, uh, which is really nice. Uh, so you can see each one of these is a discharge uh, resistor here and of course when the resistor turns on to lower the cell voltage to, to balance the cell uh, you can see that it heats up and uh, and then the cells will turn off so like these two cells are off and this one's kind of coming on and off uh, these guys are on pretty pretty solid right now because they're at a higher voltage um, but yeah, that's, that's basically the algorithm. Uh, it is not a complete algorithm right now. This is kind of the proof of concept to make sure uh, the things are working properly. Now I need to go in there and add a bunch of bounds checking to make sure we're not over discharging cells, for example. Uh, here you can see uh, a different set of cells that have mostly gotten to their final uh, temperature, I'm sorry, voltage rather. Uh, and you can see that, for example, uh, this the, every other cell here is slightly higher and so like this guy's off and that guy's off and all of these are off and this one in the middle is off but we are discharging these two and then that one here uh, this right now has about one millivolt of hysteresis so when the cells are all within one millivolt of each other the uh, cell balancing process will stop um, i do already have a primitive check in here to make sure that the cell voltages are charged enough so the minimum cell voltage has to be more than like 3.7 volts or something and then of course uh, no volt no cell can be above the maximum cell voltage say of uh, 3.9 volts or whatever uh, but i do need to make that a lot more robust before i uh, pull that into main um, let's see here's another section here this pack was at a higher voltage all of the cells in it were at a higher voltage, so these are going to be balancing for a while. Um, and you know, here's kind of the same thing over here where all of these cells are balancing. I guess probably uh, this top cell here is probably off. Of course the heat is bleeding in from the others. Now right now this algorithm is running at 100% duty cycle, so you'll see the high temperature, say of you know 60 degrees Celsius. Uh, the fans aren't running. I do have a fan that's just kind of blowing on the side of this, uh, but when the uh, you know when this is installed in the pack, I'll need to see how much heat is generated, and then of course I need to think of the worst case temperature in the car, and uh, and then I just need to basically set it to where the uh, discharge resistors are only on say 30% of the time or 50% of the time. Uh, now the 6811, the LTC 6811, which we are not using, actually has programmable PWM, which is really nice because you can say I want you to discharge this cell at 35% and this one at 50%. However, the 6804 is an older generation part. It does not support that. And uh, the 6811, even though it's cheaper, is unobtainium right now. So the 6804 is also unobtainium, but I previously, I guess it was obtainium, so I bought a whole bunch of them. Um, so anyway, we are using a slightly older LTC chip. It does not support pulse width modulation uh, discharging. And so we have to do it in firmware, which is fine. Uh, now the cell balancing, one of the consequences of that is that cell balancing is probably only gonna work when the grid charger is plugged in. Uh, I've been running packs now for a couple of months and they're under 20 millivolts delta. So it might mean that every six months you have to you know, plug in your pack leave it plugged in for, you know, overnight, may, maybe 20 hours or, you know, over two nights even would, would be fine. Uh, you know, if you, if you plugged it in at 7 p.m. and unplugged it at 8 p.m. the next day and then did the same thing the following night, it doesn't matter how, you know, how long or short you grid charge, it's just that it, this process is very slow, so you might need to do it, you know, if the cells are 20 millivolts discharged, you know, it might take six hours to balance them because first they have to get above the minimum threshold voltage. But anyway, that is the proof of concept, at least, on uh, cell balancing. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do a lot of testing on this branch before I pull it in because I don't want to destroy cells. Uh, I, I'm going to throw in 
uh, I, you know, I have a function called disable all cell balancing, and I'm basically going to put that everywhere to make sure that uh, unless we are specifically trying to balance cells, uh, no cell balancing occurs. So anyway, that's kind of the intro, and uh, in the next 24 hours or so, I'll distribute a branch that will uh, hopefully work correctly.